Yesterday, NASA's Orion capsule returned to Earth after a historic moon mission. It also performed a new landing technique called skip entry that is designed to help the spacecraft splash down accurately at the landing site. Orion entered the Earth's upper atmosphere and used the atmosphere and its lift to skip back outside the atmosphere only to re-enter once again. The spacecraft hit the atmosphere at Mach 32 or 25,000 miles per hour, the fastest capsule re-entry since Apollo's. The Orion's landing in the Pacific Ocean marked the end of the inaugural Artemis 1 lunar mission exactly 50 years after Apollo's final moon landing. But why was there so much hype about this mission? This was not the first time any spacecraft had been sent to moon or to explore it. What was so special about this particular mission? Today in this video we break down the exact reasons for this. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. Artemis 1 was essentially an experimental mission. It was unmanned flight to the moon to verify that the spacecraft and module will keep a human crew safe from the conditions they would encounter. So a safe re-entry was critical to the success of this whole initiative. After its success, a crewed Artemis 2 will go around the moon and back by 2024, followed in a few years by Artemis 3, which will see astronauts, including a woman, land on the moon. Artemis 1 was being seen by NASA as a stepping stone to much greater things. It was the first in a series of missions that are planned to not only take humans back to the moon, but to also explore the possibilities of extended stay there and to investigate the potential to use the moon as a launch pad for deep space explorations. The Artemis missions have been thought to build up on the existing achievements of space technologies over the past few decades and lay the foundations for more complex and ambitious missions in the future. It will also work towards extracting the resources found on the moon, building from the materials available there and harnessing hydrogen or helium as energy sources. The Artemis missions will build on the existing achievements of space technologies over the past few decades and lay the foundations for more complex and ambitious missions in future. Not all of these were supposed to happen with the first mission itself, but these things are possible now, making human landings on the moon much more meaningful than earlier. The Orion spacecraft has been specifically designed to carry astronauts into deep space on future missions. NASA hopes to establish a base on the moon and to send astronauts to Mars by the late 2030s or early 2040s. The three dummy passengers that the spacecraft carried were mannequins made of material that mimic human bones, skin and soft tissue. These were equipped with a host of sensors to record the various impacts of deep space atmosphere on the human body. This mission also began the process of humans establishing a long-term presence on our neighboring satellite to prepare for an eventual manned mission to Mars. While Artemis 1 was unmanned, it gave the US Space Agency an opportunity to test the Space Launch System or the SLS, the most powerful rocket in the world and the Orion spacecraft, the crew module designed for deep space journeys. The SLS is the most powerful rocket NASA has ever built around 15% more powerful than the Saturn V rockets that were used to get humans to the moon. Also, the moon landings of the 1960s and 70s were guided by Cold War geopolitical considerations and the desire of the United States to go one up on the Soviet Union, which had scored by launching the first satellite Sputnik, the first spacecraft Luna 2 to crash onto the lunar surface, and by sending cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, the first man to space. Today, there is no such Cold War games going on in terms of space explorations. So, in short, the goal of returning to the moon is to establish an outpost and a staging ground for manned missions to Mars. The tentative timeline for such a voyage is sometimes in the 2030s. Astronauts will be able to learn how to use what is available on site in preparation for an eventual visit to Mars. And these are the facts that made it so important. We hope we have been able to decode and explain why the first of the Artemis missions and the Orion spacecraft were important for the mankind. We certainly hope you would like this new video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.